So we've come to what will probably be the shortest video of the entire course. You guys need a break, I need a break, and we're actually adding some pretty cool functionality. So what we're going to do is add a search box to our map that will use Google Places. And so you can search a place and then the map will zoom you into that location so you can see the houses from there. Now, why is it easy? It's easy because we've already done a lot of the hard work to set up this search box. So remember back here, we, we went through all of this work here to set up pretty big component to display the search box. We're just going to reuse it because it does all of the correct functionality already. So what we're going to do is pop into the map and scroll up to the very top. We're going to import our search box component. So with that in place, we're just going to go inside of the map and I'm going to put the search box above where we iterate all over all of the houses. And I'm just going to put this into a div and give it some classes. So I'm going to position this absolutely and it's going to be at the very top and it's going to fill the entire width of the of the of the map. We need to give it some a Z index of 10 so that it is it, it's shown above the other things that we display on the map. And then we'll just get a give it a bit of padding. So search box component. This receives two props. The default value, we don't really have one here. We're going to start it out as empty. Oops, search box. And the second one is what happens when the user selects an address. So when that happens, it calls a function and it gives us three things. It gives us an address that we don't care about. So we're just going to start it with underscore address. It gives us a latitude and a longitude that we do very much care about. So in here, um, because Mapbox is controlled by state, so whatever is in this viewport here, we simply need to update this state with the latitude and longitude that was given to us from this function here, latitude and longitude. So we're just going to double check if there's a latitude and there's a longitude because it is possible that these are null as you can see here in the types. What we're going to do is update the viewport. Now viewport, what we're going to do is we're going to pass a function here to set it and this function when called by set viewport will receive the old state and it's our job to, re to return the new state. So we're going to basically take a copy of the old like that, everything in it, update it with the latitude and the longitude that we just received here from on select address. And let's just reset the zoom to 12 like that. Okay. One last thing we need to do. We need to update the, the bounds so that when the map moves, it does trigger a refresh. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to double check that the map ref has a current um, because we, we can't really, um, TypeScript will give us an error otherwise because current is possibly an interactive map, possibly null. So we just need to make sure that it does have a value. From there, we can get the bounds, and that comes from mapref.current. Get the actual map, not the React version of it, and get the bounds. And then update the data bounds state. So set data bounds. We are going to stringify the value, and the value we're stringifying is the bounds in the array format. Cool. So just like this, We'll go to the home to this uh, to the to the code now to the map, and we can search. So we can search for Toronto, where I am. I was already there, so it wasn't that interesting. Why don't we go to Orangeville, Ontario? The map zooms us in here. We did have two homes here, which is awesome. We can zoom in, move it around. The map's updating. Well, now let's go back to Toronto zooms us back here and we've got these maps from Toronto. So that's the entire video. We've added a search box to our map. You're able to use Google Places to search the area that you want. Maybe you don't have any homes there. So let's go to the capital of Canada, Ottawa. I don't have any homes there yet, so there's none, but that's fine. We'll fly back to Toronto. There we got some. Cool. That's it. See you guys on the next video.